Hey everyone, it's Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com. Today I'm going to show you how to play the full song. All these things that I've done by The Killers, drummed of course by Ronnie Venucci Jr. Bar four has a really cool drum fill in it. I like this um, drum fill. Um, it sort of stick, sticks out on the recording. It's kind of weird because uh, Ronnie throws in a bass drum in, in an interesting place. So we lead into the drum fill with our, with our double hand groove still. One and two and three. Bass drum on beat three there with the right hand and the hi-hat. That's our last double hand hi-hat notes. Then come down to the snare drum and it's a linear drum fill. And a four E and a which is weird, bass drum on the E there, and a 40, and a... Sounds really cool though. So that bar slowly, one and two and three, and a 40, and a... And I've written above that bar, note hi-hat gradually opens. So around that, somewhere starting around beat one of that bar, the hi-hat sort of getting a bit washy. Um, and this is my favourite drum fill in the song. And I must admit, it was kind of hard to hear on the recording exactly what was being played. It's, it's, it's very low in the mix at this point. The rest of the band is much louder than the drums. So I've given you uh, what, I, uh, what I think he's actually playing here. And it makes sense that so the notes all, all line up. It's the first part, the, the one eander bit, which I'm about to show you, that I wasn't 100% sure about. It's kind of weird what he's playing on the recording. I can't quite work it out, but this makes sense. This would make sense. It also turns out to be a really cool drum fill. Lots of linear stuff going on in here, which I always love. So what I've got for you is my interpretation. It's just the first part of the fill that I'm not 100% sure about. The rest of it, I am. So we get this first bit. One E and a two. A linear, linear style idea. Right, left, right. 1 E and a 2, stay on the crash cymbal because we're going to play 2 and 3 and, and then classic lick this, 4 E and a 1. Using the bass drum at the end there, 4 E and a, uh, to give you time for your right hand then to move to a crash cymbal, a 1. So we get 1 E and a 2 and 3 and 4 E and a 1. 1 E and a 2 and 3 and 4 E and a 1 That's a lot of fun to play that. So if I play with the bar before, 
Well, on the loose hi hats. One, two, three, and four, and one the other two, and three, and four the other one. I enjoy that a lot. So the next line, 